My fiancé cheated on me and publicly humiliated me while I was pregnant. My fiancé and I have been together three years and I love him more than anything. Up until this point, this was the healthiest relationship I've ever been in, and I was so excited to get married and have our child. He doesn't even know I'm pregnant because his birthday is next month and I wanted to surprise him. There were none of the usual signs like our relationship declining for the past several months. It was like one day the switch just flipped. I noticed he was first off like two weeks ago after we came home from my friend's place after hanging out. He seemed distant but I just chalked it up to him being tired, but then he continued to be a little distant. I know his boss has been on his butt lately about a work project, he's an engineer and I thought he was just stressed about it. These past two weeks we haven't been having intimacy either but that's not out of the normal because when he's really stressed, either with family stuff or work, he isn't usually in the mood. On Friday I went out of town to visit my sister and I just got home today. Originally the plan was for him to go with me but he told me he really needed the weekend to work on his project which I didn't find suspicious at all. He knew what day and what time I would be coming home. Yet when I got into our home the kitchen hadn't been cleaned from what was obviously a romantic dinner and when I got to the bedroom the sheets were a mess, and a woman's clothes was on the floor by the door. And his pants and their shoes were in the hallway very obviously hastily taken off on the way to our shared bedroom, our shared bed, our shared everything in our sacred place. It just seemed so careless. He knew what I would see and didn't even bother to clean up. Did he really think I'd stay? Did he really think I just wouldn't care? He's not picking up my calls and when I texted him I realized he'd blocked me. If he was into someone else why didn't he just say that? Why would he let me find out in the most hurtful way in the world? Even worse, I know who the girl is because she left her jewelry, and it's someone who I was insecure about when our relationship first started but that I got over the longer we were together. I didn't know what to do. I calmed down and I ended up calling my therapist, and currently, I've decided to stay with my best friend, but just for a few days until I can get a flight to where my parents live. Also, I am keeping the baby, where I live, I'm too far along to get a termination, the time span to get one is really short. I'm currently two months, and I haven't started showing. My ex-fiancé didn't notice because the birth control I take makes me not have a period. But if I'm being completely transparent, I probably would have kept this pregnancy anyway. I also took pictures, and I'm meeting a lawyer later this week. Third, I called his sister and I have no idea what he told them about me, but I've never heard her have so much venom, like what she had on that phone call with me. I told her what happened and she wasn't shocked at all and said in this exact wording, wow, you really haven't figured out why he did this to you at all have you? And then as she was telling me to never call anyone in their family again I had to shout over her that I was pregnant in case she blocked me. I could hear the shocked silence and told her I would literally pee on a stick in front of her if she didn't believe me. I think she could tell from my voice that I was telling the truth and told me that she would get her brother to meet me at the house later today to talk. And that I had to tell him I was pregnant myself and she wouldn't do that burden for me she then abruptly hung up. His sister and I have always been close, and I remember how I used to wait all day in the hospital when she was getting treated for her honker cancer. I have no idea what could have made her hate me this much, what lies he could have told her. I just cried so much after this phone call. My fiancé cheated on me and publicly humiliated me while I was pregnant. When I got into our home my fiancé was very callous and cruel. He berated me and would not let me get a word in. He screamed at me that I needed to drop the victim act or else he would tell all my friends and family the truth about me. I asked how could I be playing the victim when he's the one who cheated and then let me find out in an abusive, disgusting, and psychotic way. Turns out it all stemmed from the dumbest reason. Before I got with my fiancé my hair was completely untouched, it was a brown color that looked red in the sunlight and photos that I loved, and his was pink. When we got close I learned that it was pink in support of his sister who got diagnosed with honker cancer. About 8 months in, I decided to dye my hair pink for his sister's upcoming honker cancer surgery. Him and his entire family was touched by the gesture and everyone ended up dyeing their hair pink before her surgery. My fiancé was especially touched because he knew how much I really liked my natural color. After his sister went into remission we started to doing cute matching couple hair of all different colors. When we visited my friend a couple weeks ago she was making a video of memories from over the years because one of our friends Big 30 is coming up and she plans to show it at the party. After we came home from her place this was when I first noticed he was off. He saw a video on her computer of me with very bright red hair which is not my natural color even in the sunlight which is maybe a shade red above auburn. This video was from mid-2019 before we got together and was not real dye. It was one of those non-bleach, non damage hair waxes that come out after a single wash. In this video I'm making out with a former male friend of mine. We were bar hopping and you can see us in the back kissing as we're walking to the next bar. Last summer my fiancé and I dyed our hair bright red like what's on the video and he thought that I had cheated on him because he knows my hair was untouched before I dyed it pink in support of his sister. While we were arguing he kept telling that I had cheated first and that my effing hair was red and that's how he knew that I had cheated with my old male friend, and that I cut off, because we'd slept together once before I got with my fiancé and that made him uncomfortable and that he'd seen it all on a computer. And that's why he slept with his female friend because he'd wanted me to hurt like he did. I kept yelling at him that I had never cheated on him and had genuinely no idea what the hell he was talking about. 
I was so confused, upset, hurt, and angry that I started cramping in the middle of our shouting fest. My fiancé thought I was faking it until a large amount of blood started coming from my private area. He called the ambulance and my friend came inside to check if I was okay because I'd been there for a while at this point. At this point I hadn't even gotten the chance to tell him I was pregnant and my friend had to do so as I yelled out in agonizing pain. The ambulance came in 11 minutes but by the time I reached the hospital it was too late. My baby was gone. From their word got out and my friend, the one with the video, heard about everything and she came and showed him proof that the video he was talking about was from before we were together and taken in mid-2019. She showed me too because up until that point I had completely forgotten about that night and had no idea what he was talking about. I then explained to him that it was just hair wax. I'm devastated about the baby. Despite everything I truly wanted to keep it and I feel so hollow now. So wrecked. I don't know what to do about my relationship. He has genuinely apologized to me and I know he only did what he did because he thought I had cheated on him, but I don't know if I'll ever be able to get over this. I'll always resent him for the miscarriage. But I still love him so much and I still can't even imagine life without him. Before his mother learned the truth she made a scathing Facebook post about me and my cheating and since then his entire family has all formally apologized to me but I'm still getting calls from extended family members and friends who still haven't heard the truth calling me hurtful things and telling me I deserved my miscarriage and that's what I got for trying to baby trap him. It's another kick to my already broken soul. And as of right now my social reputation is in tatters because of the post, 